So first thing we're going to do is look at a subreddit, Bitty Aquariums. Uh, so I've worked with fish a lot in aquariums. I have aquarium fish as well, but uh, aquariums are pretty much like the main site of like animal abuse and fish. And a lot of people don't consider it animal abuse, which is kind of crazy to me. But aquariums are pretty much where fish get just in these awful conditions all the time. And for some reason, people are just not aware of it or don't care about it. Um, so I thought it would be one, both funny to look at shitty aquariums and make fun of them. And two, to, you know, raise awareness, because I know I have a lot of people who watch me who are like young and maybe like fish and are into fish and are like, man, I want to get a goldfish or I want to get a betta fish. And it's like, it's very important to look up how to actually take care of these things rather than to do something dumb like these aquariums that we're seeing uh, because it's it's really crazy to me some of the stuff that you'll see yeah i mean okay well this is just an abandoned tank so this is like the water gets down really low so water slowly evaporates from fish tanks so you have to be adding new water slowly so if you don't add water it's just going to slowly get down you can see the color of the water fish is lethargic as hell really disgusting tank yeah this is again like look at this this is an abandoned tank <laughs> completely covered in algae the only thing thriving are the snails of course completely abandoned and then people see stuff like this and they're like oh well you have to get an algae eater and then the main algae eaters are plecos which grow far too big oh my god yeah if you i don't understand how a human being can see this and think this is okay think about the amount of room this is like from like so he takes up about half of it with just his body length. So think about something that's double my height, and that's the length of the room. It's actually kind of like the room I'm in right now, but I'm not at least st stuck in this room. My room that I'm in right now is bigger than this, and I'm not stuck in it for the entirety of my life. Also, it's not empty. My room has things to do. This is a completely empty room with no, no space whatsoever. Not to mention water quality. The more water you have, the more stable the quality of the water is because it's there's more of a buffer, right? So if you have like some kind of toxin go into the water, if you here, here's a good way to think about it. Chlorine will kill fish, right? If you dump like 10 gallons of chlorine or even a gallon of chlorine in the ocean, absolutely nothing happens because it's the ocean. If you dump a gallon of chlorine into a fish tank, it just kills everything in the fish tank. And that's an extreme example, but the point is when you have less water, you're far more susceptible to diseases, to any kind of toxicity. There's gonna to be almost no oxygenation in this because oxygenation takes place at the surface of the water where the oxygen from the air diffuses into the water. Uh, and because the water's not moving very much and has very little surface area, there's gonna be no oxygen. This fish is just fucking doomed to a terrible life and die. And it sucks because they're really resilient, so they can actually live in this for a really long time. And people take that as like, oh, well, my fish is happy. He loves it in there because he can live in this for however many years. And people use that as an excuse. And it's like, no, just because something can live in conditions doesn't make it not animal abuse. Like cows can live in those pens where they literally cannot move and are just injected with steroids. They are able to live because life tries to find a way, but you know, they shouldn't be. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on in this video? Pick up the fish. Why would you use a ladle? Why was it in a bowl in the first place? Where was it going? That's ah, just fucking gross. Yeah, if you're gonna get your child in a fish, please make sure that you've taught your child how to deal with the fish. Children convincing their parents to get them pets and then just totally abandoning the pets happens way too often. Is this a tank? Oh my God, there's a fill. This surely this has to be temporary. That stingray takes up the entire tank. That can't possibly be true. This has to be a temporary holding. Went to my barber to get a haircut. They are not eating, he said. It's a seven gallon styrofoam box with two stingrays and two snake heads. That's not even an aquarium. Why would you put it in a styrofoam box? You can't even see them. This is insane. This is the ultimate cheap aquarium. And it's funny that he's still got a filter. He was like, yeah, I'm going to put this stingray that is the size of the box in a styrofoam box, but I'm not a terrible human being. Of course, I'll put a filter on it. Yeah, this is what I see a lot is people get monster fish and then keep them in tiny ass tanks. You got a big ass iridescent shark, two Oscars and a common pleco and a tank that is just not big enough. This, I mean, there's not like a good 
to zoom out here. This Iridescent shark Potters. takes up basically half of you the tank. But anyways, this ratio, the iridescent shark, takes up about half of the tank. So this iridescent shark to this tank is the same ratio as that betta fish that we saw earlier in the bowl. Like this is the same size, like ratio of size fish to water as that goldfish that was in the tiny vase. So even though it looks less extreme in this case, it is literally the same thing. Okay, he's placing brick on concrete and spray painting it. What? Uh, what? <laughs> this is a five minute craft. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try and let's try and figure out what's wrong with this. Uh, first of all, waterproof spray is not going to last. Second of all, waterproof spray is probably toxic. Third of all, there's definitely not enough water. Fourth of all, they are in direct sunlight, so they're just going to get cooked like eggs. Fifth of all, what the fuck is this pattern? Sixth of all, why? This is insane. <laughs> so the idea is you just have a bunch of bricks in a circle and you can make it into a pond by waterproofing the cracks. And then you just have some goldfish cook to death in it. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, so fish like to hide in the shade most of the time because they don't deal with direct sunlight very well. You rarely find fish like in shallow water in direct sunlight. So this is not gonna end well. Fish get sunburnt too. Josh, shitty aquarium in a classroom. I assume that's the that's the better aquarium. Yeah, I had this in high school. I think we probably all had this. Some class in high school. And for me, it was the worst because we had um, we had like a, a freshwater ecology or something like that class. I forget what the class was actually called. I think it was I think it was called like freshwater animals or freshwater ecology. So you would think that the teacher would have an idea what they were talking about with, you know, aquariums or fish or anything like that. And they had a, just a terrible tank. It was actually worse than this. It was actually crazy to me. Even the people who are supposed to know what they're talking about, educating children, just genuinely don't. They disable... Oh my god. Is that a turtle? Is that a real turtle? It's in a plastic cup with a fake, like a Lego palm tree. That's fucking insane. Wow. Do, do they think it's not going to get bigger? Like, what do you... That is the kind of thing you trap bugs in. This is, this is the top for a cake. This is the top you like put on on like a cake and they flipped it over, put a Lego palm tree in it and said, yeah, this is good for a turtle. I love my arowana. Oh my God. Jesus, that arowana is the size of the entire tank. This is even worse. This is worse than the betta fish in the tiny bowl and worse than the iridescent shark in the tiny tank. That is an arowana that quite literally cannot fit. That's crazy. This is like putting a person in a coffin. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what it is size wise. Fish prison in 2012. Wow. Yeah. See, this is what a lot of people had as a kid. Like you get them from from fairs and stuff. You just get like a tiny little container from the fair and the person at the fair who you like won the goldfish from who just buys like 10 cent goldfish and then gives them to kids when they spend, you know, dozens of dollars trying to play a shitty circus game. Like, oh yeah, you just keep it in this bowl. They're really easy to keep alive. And then they all die like almost immediately after and everyone's like, huh? Why did that happen? And if they live for a while, it's the exception. But whoever has the fish that lives for a while will never shut up about it never shut up about it jesus christ yeah this might even be worse than the one before actually has a little bit more room still pretty awful though it's maybe like one third the size of the bowl i like the rocks yeah this really adds good habitat for the betta fish really engages it gives it things to think about you can even see the food pellets there are uneaten food pellets floating in the water so you can even tell that the fish is not eating like it should be because if you know a healthy betta fish they will eat everything in sight so either that person is overfeeding or that is a lethargic fish that's not eating right. Oh God, not another five minute craft. Okay. Sole of a shoe. Cutting. That's not where I thought that was going. Holy shit. 
This is a coffin. And you put a crayfish? This is an aquatic coffin. That's fucking crazy. I thought, like, maybe he'd fill the shoe with water and put the fish in it. He did so much worse. What is this? Putting aside the shitty craft, like, where did the glass come from? And also, why would anyone... Why? This is fucking disgusting. It's crazy that that is not illegal. Oh my god. Yep, another one of those monster tank owners. Got a whole ass lungfish, giant catfish, olipaku, parrotfish, arowanas, knifefish, oscars. Yep, this looks like everything's fitting just fine. That is how diseases spread. You remember how, like, you know, when COVID happened and everyone was supposed to stay six feet apart? This is how one tiny disease or infection gets into a tank and then kills everything in the tank. And then people are like, man, what went wrong? What am I looking at? Hello? <laughs> that is a, yeah. Wow. That person has a whole ass trout in their aquarium, on their desk, in their room, in dirty water. Surely they just have to be keeping it fresh to eat. There's no way that's real. One of the worst I've ever seen. Oh my god. There's a pleco in there? It's the handle of a door. Dude, they just keep finding new ways to be even stupider and more abusive. That's fucking crazy. That's fu this is this is the kind of person who posts on aquarium subreddits and is like, why why is my why do my fish die? What's wrong with my fish? It's literally in a door handle. Oh my god. Wow, so artsy. Look at me with my guppies in my four water bottles that I've glued together. This'll go well. These fish certainly won't die. Oh my god. I, I keep thinking it can't get stupider and it just gets stupider. This is a watch. Yeah, you're just cooking the fish, basically. This is the worst so far. I mean, they're on metal in the sun. They're just cooking alive. Those are They're going to die and they're going to smell awful. And you're not going to... Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Oregano, basil, and cilantro. As we all know, you can't grow these herbs without having a betta fish in a tiny fucking jar. That's the only way you can grow them. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Is a frat... Yeah, this is a, exactly what I would expect a frat to have a fish. There's beer bottle... Oh my god. There's beer caps at the bottom of it. It's, it's just in a... Ca That's fucking crazy. That's unsurprising, though. Like, if I went into a frat and I heard they had an aquarium, that's exactly what I'd expect. What the fuck is this? He has monster fish in a pool. And he's feeding them. Is there a filter? I'm assuming there's not based on the watercolor. No, yeah, that's just gross. Okay. We've talked before about why you don't put things in pools. Update. Dumbass killed itself. No. No. I'd say you're the dumbass. Wow, they really did not blur this out well. You can see the full name. <laughs> I have a feeling that was on purpose. This is fucking crazy. Yes, the tiny fish in the shitty tap water bowl killed itself. Actually makes me angry. I have to stop looking at this soon. I'm angry. My local fish store today uploaded this. I, but are they proud of this? This fish are suffocated. Is this something to be... I'm sorry? <laughs> okay. It's funny that out of all of them, this is probably the least bad. Still terrible. Don't get in your aquarium. <laughs> it's probably the least bad out of everything we've seen. And that's crazy. That putting your daughter in the tank with the fish is probably the least bad thing you can do. <laughs> that's a weird looking fish. All right. I'm overlooking at shitty aquariums. They actually make me angry, especially when people say dumb shit like he killed himself. Oh God. He fucking died because you abused his ass. He did not kill himself. I hate people.